So now we've created our template file. We're going to do a little bit of drawing. This is your draw toolbar. Now for every command in AutoCAD, you can execute the command or start the command using three different options. You can either go to the ribbon, which is this bar here, and it has several tabs. If you're drawing something, you would go to the Home tab and then the Draw toolbar. Say I want to draw a line, then I go to the Home tab, there's my Draw toolbar and there's my Line command or my Line tool. I can also go to the menu bar up here and there is a menu option for Draw. When I click on it, I have all of these options for drawing and there is my Line option. When I click on it, the Line command gets started. I can also go down here to the command prompt, type L for line, and hit enter, and that will start the line command. Okay? So three ways of getting to any command in AutoCAD is either use the ribbon, or use the menu bar, or use the command prompt. If I was using a modify tool, say I wanted to move something, I still go to the ribbon home tab the modify panel which has the tool for move or I can go to the modify menu on the menu bar and go to move or I can go to the command prompt type M and it gives me all the options for all the commands with the alphabet M but the top option there is M for move so three ways of getting to any command the other quick tip I want to give you is even you are you know scrolling around and you accidentally click on something or do something that you don't want say I clicked on layer states and I don't want it I can click back and and get rid of it if I go to the move command and I click on it and realize oops the move command has started and I didn't actually want to move anything all you have to do is hit the escape key on your keyboard and CAD reverts back to its default setting okay so if you get stuck and you want to quickly get out of it, you can hit the escape key and then start over again. Okay. Now, the other thing I want to tell you, um, when you are drawing something or doing something in CAD, the default cursor is this cursor that you see on the screen. It's like a plus sign with a little square in the center. When you execute a command like the line command, when you want to draw something, look how the cursor has changed. It's just a plus sign now. It's, it's a point cursor now, so I can click 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 and draw away to glory okay when you are modifying something say I want to erase this there's my erase tool when I click on erase the cursor changes into a pick box which is what this is and then I can click on top of something and hit enter and erase it so when I'm drawing this is what my cursor looks like when I am doing something like erasing, this is what my cursor looks like. So your cursor is going to change depending on what function you are performing. The other important thing before you start any command is to know that the command prompt, this little guy here, I'm going to make a little bigger so you can see it better, is your friend. It's like a chat window between you and AutoCAD. So if I go to the line command and click on it, if you look here down in the command prompt, it'll tell you what CAD wants you to do so it can go on in progress in the tool. So right now it's telling me, all right, you want the line command, but you need to specify the first point. And so if you click somewhere, you have specified the first point and look at what the command prompt is telling you is specify next point. So at every time when you start a command, the command prompt is going to prompt you and tell you, okay, I need you to do this. And when you do that, then it's going to tell you, okay, next I need you to do this. So initially, while you're getting used to CAD and the commands, keep an eye on the command prompt. Once you get used to it, and you will not need to do that. So we're going to do a quick practice line command. All I want you to do is go up here to the command prompt, click, and then start a line somewhere. And just get used to drawing. Just move your mouse around, get used to drawing, and click, and click, and click, and click, and click. Just get used to drawing it, which is, you know, it's a ton of fun right now because the next thing we're going to do is we're going to specify a specific dimension. Once you're done playing around with the line command, you want to end the line command. You hit enter, and it's done. Now, just so you get used to the line command, this is what we're doing. I'm going to erase this whole thing. To erase um, everything off your screen, you can 
tab you can hold the control key and hit the A key together so control and A together it's going to select everything on the screen and hit the delete button on your keyboard so to select everything I'm going to undo this control A and then hit the delete button on your keyboard okay now if you're wondering well, fine I know how to draw lines but what if I want to draw something very specific like I want to draw a square which is two inches by two inches obviously CAD is a drafting software and it's going to let you do that but before you do that what you want to do is you want to create some settings down here so you get a very very precise drawing what you want to turn on is this fourth button there called the ortho mode now if you keep your mouse on top of it without clicking it's going to give you a small text string that's going to tell you it's the ortho mode and the keyboard shortcut is F8 this is a transparent command which means you can turn it on and off in the between of a command so while you're drawing something you could switch ortho on and off either by clicking here or by hitting the F8 key on the keyboard so I'm gonna click on this and turn ortho on I'm gonna go, go to my line command I'm gonna click on my line command and right now we're not being very precise with drafting all we're doing is getting used to the draw toolbar and getting used to drawing lines so we're gonna click somewhere on the screen to start the line command and then it's going to ask you specify next point now if your ortho is on and when you move your mouse around you'll notice a difference from the last time everything is going up and down in a straight line this is what an ortho command does to CAD is it gives you perfect straight lines in horizontal and vertical directions so I want to draw a square I'm zooming in and to zoom in I'm using my scroll mouse I want to draw a square which is two inches by two inches there are several ways of drawing in AutoCAD. There are four distinct ways of entering dimensions. There are uh, the absolute coordinate system, there is a relative coordinate system, a direct distance method, and there's a polar coordinate system. The easiest method is the direct distance entry method, and, and I've realized that that's the fastest method to use, so that's the one I'm going to show you. In the direct distance entry method, all you have to do is once you have started your line, you move your mouse, don't click yet, just sort of drag your mouse in the direction you want the line to go. Once you have established the direction, all you have to do is type 2 for 2 inches and hit enter and you have a line that is 2 inches wide. Now, I went towards the right to draw the first line. I'm going to go down now and I want to go 2 inches down. So I'm moving my mouse down, not clicking anywhere, just moving it down, dragging it down. Then I type 2 and hit enter. I go back in the left direction, type 2 and hit enter. Now you're not seeing a line, I'm going to zoom out. And then I can go up and type 2 and hit enter. Once I'm done drawing my square, I hit enter once more. And I have a square that is 2 inches by 2 inches. I'm going to repeat this one more time go back to the line command click to start your square your ortho is on so your mouse should be moving in perfect straight lines in the horizontal and vertical dimension now I'm going to reverse the direction I'm going to go down this time so I started my click mouse here I'm going to move down type 2 hit enter move my mouse in the other direction that I want to go type 2 hit enter Move my mouse up, 2, hit enter, and then all I have to do is move my mouse this way, 2, enter, and I have a square, inches by 2 inches. To stop the line command, I hit enter again, and voila, I have a square that is 2 inches by 2 inches.